Could you imagine in the good old days, the free gorges, the Yangtze River used to look like this. Welcome along to the channel. It's Saturday the 19th of February 2022. My name is James and this is the Free Gorges Dam channel. I'm recording this in the morning actually. So I do need my coffee to keep me awake. And the title is actually quite exciting for today. The shutdown, the Free Gorges Dam. Is it working? Outflow increased. So what we're going to do first of all is have a look at these levels that look like this. Now Kutan has gone up once again at 170.27 but the Free Gorges Reservoir, this is the first time in months and months it's gone down and it's at 169.96 so 4 centimeters less than 170. But look at the inflow and look at the outflow. This has gone crazy now. Inflow is 6,000, 7,000, but the outflow is 9,2 something zero, like 9,0. I can't read it with my awful glasses. What is going on? There is no webcam. There is only the satellite image that we can vaguely trust, which is Senator, but that was done. The last video image was um, February the 4th. Today is February the 19th, so two weeks ago was the latest. Is it working correctly? Is it being efficient? Is it... Should it be shut down? Should it be dismantled? Should it be checked? Should it be serviced? Are all the questions about the dam. And I really don't have the answers because we don't have any live feed I really would just like to hop on an aeroplane to Ying Chang near enough, which is not feasible anyhow, because the whole trip would take about a month for two hour visit to the Free Gorges because of the situation of COVID, etc, etc, and find out for myself. And maybe if I could, if I did, I would need a high powered camera, but I'm sure that the security forces wouldn't be exactly in a bed of roses for me to actually video some things which may be on the channel. Who knows? Yeah. So let's move on to the next part. Now, this is a little bit of advertising and advertising for my channel, how you can help. I'm not asking for any cash. I'm just asking for the share. If you see the share on the screen here and you can share it on your social media like Facebook and Twitter and possibly Instagram. Uh, what else? Linken and Tumblr, something like that. It would really help because it works on algorithms and in recent days it's sort of like less than a thousand views, which is sort of strange considering I got over 30,000 subscribers. 30,000 subscribers. So that would really help if you could. Lovely. Thank you. Okay, let's have a look at the weather. Now, this is not very exciting for today, so I thought I'd get time, well, I thought it was time for a little bit of the musical weather. Here we go. Ching, jang, jong, ching, 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 jang, jong. Dams have long been a strategic card for the Chinese government. However, they are collapsing before they have a chance to play with them. China has about 94,000 dying dams, so the crisis isn't about a single dam. However, when a problem involved with the world's biggest hydroelectric plant, the Free Gorges, 
there is every reason for China to worry about it. Not only China, but the entire world is waiting with bated breath regarding how the country would tackle this issue of a mammoth structure. The difference between other dams in China and the Three Gorges is that most of the other dams were built during the Mao Zedong era, while the Three Gorges is a recent build, so it seems believable that the Mao era dams must be decaying and in the verge of collapsing. However, what's surprising is that the cost of China's whopping $31 billion dam and became operational fairly recently could collapse, even if there's a mere likelihood why it's even being considered. Many of the country's 94,000 aging dams has been put to the test by recent rains and flooding in 2020 and 2021, and they pose serious safety risks, particularly during the summer floods. For example, last year, two collapsed in Inner Mongolia, which we've covered in the channel, to severe rain. During last summer's floods in Hernan, which unfortunately killed more than 300 people, the army warned that one dam could collapse at any time. Now, these articles that I find are usually written by experts and they have done countless hours of research. What I'm doing is doing some really bad reading. Well, actually, my reading is pretty good today and passing the message on to you to be aware. If the dam did stop working or did it, I won't say not stop working, if the dam did collapse, again, the lives, we don't want to even think about it, but it affects 15% of the world's economy because so much stuff is made in the Yangtze Basin. It's not just in the southeast of China, like the Hong Kong area, like Guangdong and Shenzhen, which you may have heard about. It's also there. Cost of land is low to rent cost of labor is low there's many farmers there who would get more money in kind of being in manufacturing in other words a factory worker rather than plowing a field with a out-of-date tractor for example china is a developing country don't get me wrong and there's many things which are absolutely amazing it's just the government's management system which is just greed after greed after greed we talked about the train system and lots of YouTube Western communist shills who live in China would say how marvelous it is if you can afford it. But the average person in China can't afford the high speed train, but they can afford the low speed train. If you do it on average with 1.4 billion people. So the train system is losing $44 million a day. It's in debt by 900 billion. But they continue. And where does the money come from? It feels like the dictator has a printing press and just, oh, let's just print some more money. And now controlling the money by using the digital RMB, the digital Chinese currency. So no one can use cash. They want to take cash out of the society, but that's going to be impossible to do. Let's take a small break and I'm going to do some advertising on a video which is already on YouTube and you can find possibly, if I remember, the description in the link below. Beep, beep, beep. Winter Olympic Games, God, I'm out of breath. Comes close to a close. Let's talk about the, not the sport of the Olympic Games, but the business and politics and how this has been quite a big disaster for China. Now, the news that you see is about Elon Gu, the American who won gold for China, even though it's really difficult to get a Chinese citizenship or dual nationality. Um, why did America boycott the games. 
well, because of what's happening with human rights, what's happening with Xinjiang, etc. But this is a complete disaster for China, because also the United Kingdom, Australia, New Zealand sort of did it, France and I think Canada and some other countries joined in this boycott. Diplomatic, which means the lead politicians are not going to go there, or didn't go there this year. The Olympic Games is started in 1896, basically, and in more recent times it has turned more political, even though they say it's just for the sport of it. But politicians do come, and it's sort of like a... Now, if you do want to find out more about China, um, go to the link in the description below related to this or this guy. Now, I have mentioned this guy before, but he does team up with another guy called Sea Milk or Matt. I think it's Matt. But anyhow, and they do a show near enough every Saturday, near enough every Saturday called ADV Podcasts. And these guys used to live in China. They have a wealth of experience. Uh, Winston was the first vlogger or YouTube vlogger in China and was there for a long time. And now they both live in the United States of America, both with Chinese wives, both with kids, etc., etc. Would actually now have the freedom to say what's really going on with evidence, with hard evidence, with actual eyewitness reports, rather than the shills who just criticize the Western media, the communist Western shills who just go with the media and think the NED is a bad thing and they, America should have never evaded Iraq or gone into Syria or gone into Libya but they don't give us the solution for it. I sort of go off topic, so do go and check that out. Yes. And I think that brings us to a close for today. I do think there's one blooper at the end of this. Thank you as always for your time. If you could spend 30 seconds of your time just to share this on your own social media, only if you're happy to do so, so we can actually get a wider audience. And I do post these video links on Facebook and Twitter every time there's a video release. So if you hit the notifications there as well, you're not going to miss one single video. And I will wish you a happy weekend. I will wish you a happy Saturday, wherever you are in the world. Good day, mate. Have a good day. Bye-bye for now. Thank you. Now, I really don't know if the microphone is working and everything is set up because Oh, the joys of working with a GoPro is sort of like a disaster.